So here's a couple of things that really struck me as relating to what we're dealing with now. The first is called the Goldilocks theory or the Goldilocks principle. Now you all know the story of Goldilocks and the three bears, right? You know, Goldilocks is kind of traipsing through the woods. She comes to a house. She knocks on the door. There's no answer. She goes inside the house. There's three bowls of porridge. She tries each one. One bowl's too hot. One bowl's too cold. And one bowl's just right. And so in big history, the Goldilocks theory, the Goldilocks principle, applies to a set of conditions that had to be just right in order for life to form on Earth and for civilization and humanity as we know it to exist, right? And those conditions you know, weren't present in other, in other planets, right? If you're on, I think if you're on Venus, you're a little too close to the sun, so it's too hot. If you're on Mars, you're a little too far away, it's too cold, so the conditions weren't right. But for Earth, the conditions were just right. And so what led up to that were these kind of interesting things called threshold moments. And in these threshold moments, there was radical change. There was radical change in the galaxy. At the beginning of the galaxy, when you go back to that 14 billion years ago, it was just gases. But then, through this convergence of a, you know amazing amount of energy, the death of a star, a supernova, a staggering amount of heat and light are created in an instant, in a second. And as a result of that, that threshold moment, that chaos, is created new elements. And so things like gold and lead were formed. And the basic building blocks that were allowed planets and stars to form. But most notably, you know, that all the elements in the periodic table came out of those threshold moments. And so what's interesting, those threshold moments, the other side of the threshold moments, was a lot more complexity. But because of that complexity, things like Earth were able to form. And there was a concept that chaos catalyzes creativity. And a great example of that in big history is when asteroid hits Earth, Earth is enshrouded in a cloud of cosmic dust, all the dinosaurs go extinct, but new life forms emerge and humanity exists. And I think about this in context of where we are. 